So it just occurred to me that there are very very few videos on the internet explaining, especially on YouTube, explaining how to set up a chess tournament through the DGT Live chess software or application. First step, go to DGT Live Chess considering the fact that you likely to have a DGT chess board and then once you click come here usually or most of the people have Windows 7 and later unless you have Mac OS that's a different case so you go after you download everything the application will pop up and you get to create new tournament here is the tournament ID name it and then give it a title description or a real long name location if you wish country and then this is just telling the viewers that this is standard chess laws of chess pick your favorite if it's Fisher random or standard then time control you can fill that manually let's say 10 plus five for example and then the number of rounds seven or nine let's say nine and then this is the first tab we're done with it players you get to add as many players as you want let's say we have about 40 players each player's got a name right Player one, first name, that's mine, and then gender, rating, let's say 1900, FIDE title, let's say CM, candidate master, and then federation is, for example, case A. Or probably it will show the country here so it's Saudi Arabia and then FIDA ID I don't remember mine but it could be in that bulk we're done with the players tab we go to rounds and then each round will appear here pick the date today is 28th of May and then we add uh, the round since we got 40 players there's going to be 20 games so we add the games and add the rounds and we'll choose me Musa going to play with X player or Y player and then if we go back here for example and say this is Jerry. Jerry is my favorite chess commentator. And so Musa against Jerry, that's in board number one in series, and then we can add. by round let's say 7 or 8 we'll, we'll likely have in normal local tournaments likely we'll have uh, less players some players will quit some player will be absent so we'll likely have 19 games not 20 um, you do the same for every other round and then when you're done with it you go to eboards and there is a um, wire connection wired connection or cable connection it's a VGA uh, cable an old type of, uh, of cables connected to a switch the switch is connected to a, a laptop and the laptop should be near or 
uh, should be the exact same laptop that is holding or containing the Swiss manager for pairing or any other software because once you have so many boards connected well eventually you're going to have 20 boards at least because you have 40 players and you're gonna play 20 uh, games in every round of the nine rounds so you're gonna have 20 boards connected once you have the board connected now you go to the output for the purpose of generating a link or saving the game locally so you go here the setting icon and you either save it to the local file system or export to live chess cloud and it does so you go visit the link and here's the link so you copy the link share it with the broadcaster chess.com lead chess uh, who else is out there yeah i have i happen to have a site so uh, that that broadcasts these games just by collecting this link so here it is guys enjoy